Hello everyone, welcome back to Web Development Solutions. Today in this video, we are going to see if you have a so sign in with Google functionality over here, and if you click on it, the blank page will come, and it is not showing any links or any accounts over here. To solve this error, let us inspect and see what is there in our console over there. And if you see over here, it is saying that the given origin is not allowed for the given client ID. Okay, and if you go our go to our client ID in the Google Auth configuration, and here is client ID. As you can see here, even after specifying the localhost here, in the localhost only, it's not coming. And this is happening for only this package over there. And uh, okay, uh, in my, it may not happen in all the packages. If you are facing it, then uh, it would might be a same problem. And to solve this error, the not only localhost 3000 is sufficient, you have to add the localhost as well. Uh, because uh, the localhost might be running in uh, many of the URLs. Okay, uh, it might be running in uh, localhost 8080 or something else. Okay, you just have to add localhost over there and in the authorized redirect url as well and if we remove it over here and if we save it and uh, it's saved okay if you hard refresh using ctrl shift and r and as you can see here it is refreshed and if you click on sign in with google as you can see over here we have successfully overcome our error of being blank okay and if you want a detailed video on how to implement this kind of login functionality using Google, using this NPM package or any other packages, make sure to comment down in the video. And if you want a detailed video on creating this kind of dashboards of your own, make sure to comment it down. And if you have any queries or any problems related to the Google login functionality, make sure to comment it down in the, put it down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video and thank you all. <laughs>